This garage door is over 30 years old, but it's got a brand new opener and it's still not working correctly. You can see that trolley bouncing around and yours might just be too loud or it's not working the way it should. But with just one simple adjustment, this door is now working perfectly. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the most common problem with garage doors that almost everyone overlooks. And that's my favorite part of this fix. It's so simple to do. Just look up at the top of your garage door opener and you're looking for a chain like this. Now if you've got a rubber belt drive, this fix won't apply to you. But if your chain is sagging in the middle looking like this one, you've got a real problem. The chain in a garage door opener controls everything. If it sags too much, that trolley can make a ton of noise and even come off the rail. But if it's too tight, that can cause you problems too. So I'm gonna show you the easy way to adjust this thing correctly and make your door a lot quieter and make sure it works perfectly. Start by closing your garage door and then you want to disconnect the power to your garage door opener. Many of them could just be unplugged, but you want to make certain that that circuit breaker or the power is off so there's no way anyone can open that door while you're doing this job. Next you want to look for your trolley. That's the part that connects the chain to the garage door itself and you might know it more often because it's got that little red handle hanging from it. As we zoom in on the trolley, you can see that threaded rod in the middle attached to the chain along with the two nuts. Now only one of those nuts will be used to make the adjustment. That front nut is used to lock it in position so that it doesn't change. So you're gonna start by loosening the front nut and then you're gonna back that nut off a few threads to give you a little bit of room to work. Now because most chains are gonna to be too loose like mine was, you're gonna tighten that nut, which means you're gonna turn that wrench towards yourself and as you do it, that rod is gonna to start to pull in and that will increase the tension on the chain and turn by turn, you're gonna to start to see that chain rise up, but you wanna make sure that that chain does not rotate. So try to hold onto it with your hands because you wanna make sure that that chain keeps the links facing towards you. You don't want it to rotate the whole thing and have those links pointing up. But don't make the most common mistake when you adjust the chain. You don't just keep going until that chain gets super tight because if you do that, you're gonna wear out the gears and cause even more problems. Most manufacturers with chains recommend that you tighten the chain until the very center of the chain is about a quarter to a half of an inch from the bottom of the rail. Now as you step back and look at this, you're still gonna think it's loose, but this is exactly what the manufacturer recommends. If you have any doubts, go ahead and look at your manufacturer's directions and see what they recommend for an adjustment. But there's one final step. You've gotta tighten that front lock nut back in and that's gonna make sure that the rod doesn't rotate, messing up your adjustment. And as you tighten it up, you wanna be sure that that chain again doesn't rotate. And if you can't really hold it with your hands, it's okay to use a pair of pliers or something to hold the end of the rod to make sure that it doesn't rotate while you're tightening it up. Now you wanna test out your door to make sure that everything is improved and that it's working properly. If your chain's been out of whack for a long time, it's really common after you open the door once or twice to see that the chain begins to sag a little bit again and you might need to repeat the adjustment one more time and then you should be able to get it exactly where you want. This single adjustment is one of the most commonly overlooked items and it's so easy to diagnose. Just go in your garage, look up at your chain and make sure that you've got the correct sag in the middle but it definitely should not be going below the rail or looking anything like one of my doors as you can see here. Whoever installed this garage door open it didn't really know what they were doing because my other door was so bad that that trolley was actually breaking free and it was dropping the door in the middle of opening. So if every time you push that garage door open you're kind of saying a prayer because it sounds terrible, take a second to look up at that chain and make sure that it's adjusted correctly. And I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.